Last Monday, after a field trip to the museum, I was inspired to draw like Picasso. This urge to draw something beyond spectacular followed me home and would not leave my side. What should I draw? I thought. I sat quietly listening to my mind and heart. And that's when I heard their whisper, and I decided to draw God. Grabbing a yellow crayon, I drew the brightest sun. It was so dazzling and radiant, my cheeks throbbed. Its rays were so long, they poked at my heart. Staring at the drawing, I knew I had drawn God. The next day I took my drawing to school and showed my best friend Peter. Look! I drew God! Peter looked at me and chirped, Emma, that's not God, that's the sun! At first I wanted to argue with Peter because I knew it was God. God is light! But instead I decided to go home and draw God again. This time I grabbed a brown crayon and drew a loaf of bread. It was the bread my mother bakes that makes me feel warm and tingly inside when I eat it. My mother says that bread reminds her of God's grace. I looked at the drawing. It made me feel warm and tingly inside. I knew I had drawn God. I took my picture to school. At lunchtime, I showed my almost best friend, Rose. Look, I drew God, I said. She looked at the picture, and then she looked at me and said, Emma, that's not God, that's a loaf of bread. Again, I wanted to argue. Rose, this is God. I thought, God is bread. But instead... I decided to go home and draw God again. That night I sat down and asked God for some help. Please, God, help me draw you, I pleaded. I stared at a blank piece of paper for a while and then grabbed a red crayon. I drew a gigantic heart and colored it in so hard my whole crayon disappeared. When it was done, it was the reddest, most beautiful heart I had ever seen. My heart was thump, thump, thumping. I knew positively, absolutely, I had drawn God. Even Picasso would agree. At lunch, Peter and Rose found me, and they asked if I'd drawn any more pictures of God. From my backpack, I pulled out a folded piece of paper and said, Here's one. Peter opened the paper and squawked. This is a drawing of a heart, not God. Rose chimed in. Emma, God is not a valentine. This time I wanted to jump up and down and scream, God is love. But instead I took the drawing back and tucked it away. As I walked home from school that day, Everything felt heavy. That night, I didn't feel like Picasso. Kneeling next to my, my bed, I asked God for some more help. God, please help me to draw you so that my friends can see you. By Friday, it seemed as if everyone in the school knew about my God drawings. Everyone was looking at me. I was waiting for them to point and laugh. But for the first time, I didn't care what anyone thought about my drawings. I felt a comfort that would not leave my side. I knew that I had drawn God. God knew I had drawn God. And maybe Picasso knew too. Finally, that felt like enough. But on the following Monday, something beyond spectacular happened. Everyone at school 
was drawing God. And every picture was different.